is Kristen at Good Knit Kisses, and I am here with Elizabeth Ham with Hello, Beth, Beth and Texas <laughs> One. Beth and the Texas One. <laughs> I always forget how to say it. You know what? When I first uh, saw that name. And you did all of your, um, your like weight loss stuff. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, be thin in Texas. That's what a lot of people think. And Michael from the Crochet Crowd, yeah, he thought it was be thin. Oh, that's funny. So I mean, hey, that's cool. I just said, don't call me late for dinner, right? <laughs> I know. Just call me. <laughs> so we are here at DFW Fiber Fest, and this is my first time. Mine too. Yeah. Hers too, yeah. but she's actually been three, three times this weekend. Yes, Friday my husband drove me, so he wanted to show me how to get around traffic. Oh yeah, That's very and then smart. yesterday I came with two friends, and then today I came just to meet Kristen. Yay! <laughs> my friend uh, Charity Wendy was going to be here today, yes, except her yeah. son had to go to the okay, PR. Oh. Okay, one of our kids is running around the background, so you might see somebody. Well, that's not mine, but one of them is. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm holding the camera today, but anyway, so that's Beth... That's why it's moving. Okay. I know, that's why it's moving. So, but Beth is, um, she got to come, but she didn't do any classes. But what was, like, the cool thing that you saw? Oh, what's the cool thing? Well, what's the coolest thing, or, like, a couple of things? There's a lot of cool things. Um, I like the handmade... Things like the spindles and the, yes. and the, the little pots that you put your ball of yarn in, string oh, it through really so it don't cool. roll on the floor. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, I could go on. Yeah. There's lots of cool things here. Yeah. And I'm going to do a video and I'm going to talk about what I saw and get the cards out and do shout outs and stuff. So. Yes. <laughs> She's a smart lady. I brought my kids, so I can't really do that. <laughs> I think got to have really good conversations. But I got to like look at all the yarn and just kind of like pet stuff. Oh, yes. Petting yarn. That's the, the main yes. purpose of coming today. <laughs> I think so. And there was a, a cat hair, dog hair. Oh, yarn. that was cool too. Yeah, there's a lady here. She will. You bring her your pet's hair, and she spins it into yarn. So you will always have something of your pet, you know. And it's really weird sounding, but it's really cool. It's soft. It's really soft. So she does have restrictions on, like I have docks, and she could never spin hair. For oh my wow, dogs, that so. would be that would be very difficult. So, so, so what did you like? Um, well, I got into, I had been wanting to spin, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this thing, not really doing a very good job, um, but I wanted to learn how to do the drop spindle, and so I got me a drop spindle, and I got me some uh, uh, hands-on demo, and they actually gave me the demo um, uh, spool, the spindle, drop spindle, and uh, I got to draft. It was a piece of fuzz. <laughs> I know, is that what that is? Yeah. But I got to draft some wool, and that was All really right. fun, so I bought a couple of stuff, a couple of I saw bags that roving you got. Really pretty. It was really pretty. Really pretty. I told her I wanted something with color, too, because um, I was kind of scared to dye stuff just yet. That's so, messy. I, 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 I'll try the Kool-Aid, I'm sure, but um, I'll drink the Kool-Aid. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, An excuse to drink Kool-Aid, right? I know, right? right? Like the M&M's things that I'm doing? Yeah. An excuse to eat chocolate. Yeah. yeah so so cool. if you see the kids running around the background, two of them are mine. Sorry, I'm holding the camera different. There's but, not a lot of kids here, but they met each other and they're having a good time. Yeah, they had a good time. And one of the girls is five and a half, and she um, started showing my daughter how to um, knit. She had little ABCs of knitting song, and so she was trying to show it's her how to do that. How young they are. I know, and she was over there real serious when we came in. This is like the back area over here. It's so. a little corner for people to go and chill and knit. There's some buddy has a uh, spinning wheel back there, yeah. and the one thing that they don't have here mm -hmm. that I'm trying to get Kristen to do next year mm -hmm. is they don't have loom. So, if you are local to DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area, maybe we should hook up and yes. call us or write in the comments or whatever, and maybe we should uh, do yeah. something yeah, about I'll that. Yeah, apply to see if we can get a yeah. booth together. Yeah, maybe we could do something together and have a few people. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. So, maybe we'll have a meetup next time. That would so be awesome. April of 2013, then. Yes. So, anyway, well, thanks for tuning in to Kristen at Good Knit Kisses and my friend Beth. At Beth in Texas 1. All right! Happy looming and crochet. Happy crochet. Bye-bye. <laughs>